all of a sudden, here come the Democrats. Uh, some special election victories uh, throughout the country. This happened at the end of last week. Uh, first of all, uh, New York's ninth state assembly district, that's for their obviously state assembly. Um, well, this is a district that's been Republican as far as anybody can remember as or as long as anybody can remember. And Trump won it very comfortably uh, in November, 61% of the voters went for Trump. In fact, Trump beat Hillary Clinton by 23 points. So why am I even telling you this? Oh No, look at this, Christine Pellegrino, Democrat, beat her Republican opponent with a stick. She beat him 58-42, so I'm gonna do that math for you. Trump won it by 23, she won it by 16. That's a 39 point swing. That's an open handed slap, boy. What are you gonna do about it? So now look, it just by itself, you might not say it, it's anything, but in the context of a Montana race that was way closer than originally expected, a Kansas race way closer than expected, a Georgia race where the Democrat, I believe, at this point is more likely to win, and that's Tom Price's old seat, New Gingrich's old seat. A Wolfpack ran a race in Connecticut for a state district, which was like this one, had been held by Republicans for as long as anybody could remember. The one in Connecticut was held for over a hundred years, closed a a 26 point lead there. The Republican did pull it out, but closing 26 points, these are gigantic differentials that are being closed. And in this case, this Republican district for literally as long as recorded history in that district has now become a Democratic seat. Now, I hear from Democrats all the time in Washington that in order to win those kind of seats, you have to have a Republican light, a warmed over corporate Democrat. So let's find out if that's what Pellegrino is. Uh, whoa, look at this. Turns out Pellegrino is a school teacher in Baldwin and a union activist. Can, and she continued teaching during her campaign, so a real person, which was joined by hundreds of volunteers who knocked on doors in Massapequa, Babylon, West Islip, and Long Island South Shore. And she served as a delegate for the Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders last year. Huh, a real person looking for a real change. And even in a heavily, heavily Republican district, she wins. Because real people beat fake people all the time. Democrats, you might want to take note. So certainly justice Democrats have, you know, find some uh, real people looking for real ch uh, change, go to uh, justdemocrats.com. Uh, now, Pellegrino was not, we, we were only working at the national level, just Democrats are. Pellegrino it was a state candidate. But let's give you more information on this, including, by the way, what happened in New Hampshire. So New York Times explains state races um, are also attracting attention, including Pellegrino's win and a state special legislative election in New Hampshire, where the Democrat, Edith Demare defeated Matthew Plesch, a Republican in Carroll County. Trump captured that district by seven points in November. So these Trump leads are not surviving in these heavily Republican districts. So that might be a bellwether for Republican chances in 2018 overall at the congressional level. And it also is a sign to Democrats on what kind of Democrats you should run if you actually want to win. So to that point, let me give you one more fact about Pellegrino. In March, Democrats in Suffolk County, led by Richard Schaefer, were set to nominate a different candidate in this special election. But the Working Families Party saw Ms. Pellegrino as an inspiring choice who could win and push local Democrats to support her. So Working Families Party is a progressive party in New York, and sometimes they co-endorse Democratic candidates. In this case, they did the right thing and they said, no, 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 don't go with another corporate Democrat. Right wingers are not interested in big business Democrats that work for their donors. That doesn't work at all. Go for Pellegrino, she's a real person and she was a Bernie Sanders delegate and she's honest and uncorrupted. And lo and behold, yes, even right wing voters like that. So I think it is a bellwether of some sorts, not just as a warning to the Republicans that Trump is unpopular, but also as a warning to the Democrats. And by the way, it doesn't have to be a warning. It could be a welcome sign for the Democrats that if you run real people who are not corrupted by donor money, you have a much better chance of winning, including 
in red districts or maybe even most especially in red districts. What's in TYT membership? Not gonna tell you, only one way to find out, tytnetwork.com slash join.